show started. Uh, happy November. Did I did I say not December? Sorry. Next next month is December. Right. Sorry. Happy November. November is this month, the one that we're in. Uh, if you are here in the U.S., um, hope you're looking forward to Thanksgiving. Uh, I think Canada celebrates their Thanksgiving in November as well. So if you're in Canada. No? Man, I'm just wrong. All right. Never mind. Oh, October. Well, I apologize, Canadians. Uh, I don't know your holidays as well as I know my own. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, happy November. We don't have a whole lot to get through, um, largely because uh, all of our, all of the things that we're working on are, are probably going to come out this month. Um, so just kind of wanted to give a quick update on status. Uh, the three things that we are largely working on, um, starting from most likely to come out very, very soon to most likely to not come out very, very soon, uh, is the updates to search that we've been doing um, for the marketplace. As of right now, as I speak, all of those updates are complete and they are in um, kind of a holding pattern uh, as we sit and make sure that the marketplace doesn't fall over. Um, and then we will announce them very, very soon, and then we will turn them all on. Um, but to give a preview, just a quick, quick little preview of some of the things that um, we're, we're kind of talking about here, um, merchant and store names won't be searched in product searches anymore, for example. Um, we have added the ability to do exact matches with quotes around your word or phrase. Um, that's really important uh, because we didn't have that before, which was really silly. Um, we can also from here on out be able to do like asterisk wildcard searches, um, you know, either a full wildcard or, you know, after a prefix. Um, the, again, like super powerful stuff that we didn't have before. Um, and then hopefully we've added a bunch of fuzzy matching um, so that you won't have to sweat like the misspelled words uh, because the fuzzy matching should cover you for that. Um, so those are all in there. Um, you've always been able to use like and or not operators and those should still work. Uh, and hopefully and best part of this is that the query speed should be improved by quite a bit. Um, so yeah, and then that it'll also set us up for the um, kind of the relevance engine that we've got uh, running in our main web search as well. Uh, we can start adding that stuff into Marketplace too with this infrastructure update. So just just a quick little preview of what that's going to look like. We'll have a, a larger announcement and and um, roll out when the time comes, but I would expect that in the next couple of weeks certainly before Thanksgiving here in the U.S. So that's very exciting. Um, we love being code complete on that. Um, is there any asterisk limit per phrase? Uh, good question. I don't know the answer to that. Um, <laughs> I, I, will, I will acknowledge my ignorance. Uh, let me get back to you on that, Pantera. Uh, Lucy, we will itemize the changes in a forum post. Yes, absolutely. There will be a, uh, well, actually a blog post, um, not, not forum. Uh, let's see here. Any uploaded or update dates? Yuki, I'm not sure what that refers to. Oh, uh, no, this is just search uh, stuff. We're, we're not um, changing the, the upload dates just yet. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, the less, less uh, not quite like the next week or two uh, release will be, um, we've been working on that new version of premium that I was talking about before. 
Uh, we are calling it just plus, not premium plus, but just plus. So kind of a basic plus option. Um, it's not a la carte, Lucy. You ask this every single time, and I keep telling you every single time that it's not a la carte. I know. Look, you can keep asking. It's going to be the same answer every time. You are not everyone, but yes, I also want a la carte. We're working on it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this is going to be a level that's kind of between um, kind of the, the basic free option and our standard premium, so a cheaper version of premium. The biggest highlight to, to um, put out here is that it's going to unlock the ability to own mainland. So if you are looking for your premium account um, mostly so that you can own mainland, um, we have a, a cheaper option for you to do that. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. Um, there is going to be some stipend associated with it, uh, but it's it's pretty small. There is a little bit of extra groups, but it's not the same uh, as you would get out of premium. Uh, like I say, kind of the big, uh, the big reason to do this would be uh, so that you can own mainland uh, and not have to pay too much for the, the premium to get there. So uh, we're excited about that, um, and we'll just see how it goes. Um, and then, you know, now that we've got that under our belt and we've learned a little bit more, uh, we can start talking about things kind of like an a la carte version. I'm still pushing for it, Lucy. I swear, I'm just trying to get buy-in up the chain for it. Uh, you know what, Whirly? I do know that, and um, we're... This is what we're going with. I'm aware of that. Uh, we're hoping that it, it's not too bad. Glad to see you here, by the way. Come on by more frequently. Um, in any case, so there's that. Uh, that should come up prior to the end of the month. Um, we're, we're targeting just prior to the US Thanksgiving on that. So Thanksgiving for us here is the 24th of the month. So I would hope to see that soon. Um, I'm currently in talks with our marketing department about how we want to release that. Um, but that just means that I'm pretty confident in the engineering side. Uh, so yeah, uh, near let's hear plus premium and premium plus sounds like the order. Yep, that's correct. With kind of basic at the front of that. I also liked basic plus really. Um, and I think that that might be the way that we kind of refer to it. Um, but we we're trying to move to a standard where it's more just a single word, um, which means that I might be looking into renaming premium plus later down the road. Um, in fact, I might rename premium altogether. So, uh, so it's a little bit more coherent, right? Like the super duper plus anyway. Um, that's all, that's all feature stuff. None of that's been, uh, greenlit. And then, um, finally, the, the other thing that we've been working on is the land ownership journey. Um, and that's kind of this concept that we have in our head, just kind of as a review for people that haven't been here before, of this idea that the land ownership in Second Life takes a bunch of different forms, right? So you can own a linen home, or you can own a private region, or you can own some mainland, or you can be renting from somebody else, either privately or, you know, renting mainland. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Uh, it's something that we think is a main feature of Second Life. It's something that we want more people to be able to take advantage of and, you know, find their find their particular way that they like to um, engage with the experience in that way. Uh, and what we've identified is that there's a million different like little pieces of information scattered all over the place about all of these little things and not a single you know, repository of like, hey, you want to own a little piece of, of Second Life? You want to have your own little space? Here's how to do it. And here are all the various ways. So... We want to centralize that. Um, and again, this is all kind of in our effort to make things easier and more friendly to our existing members, but particularly to our new users uh, who, you know, want to take the next step in their Second Life journey and, you know, own a little space to call their own. Um, so we've been trying to, you know, make that more visible um, and, 
in an effort to do that, we're centralizing as much of that as we can and kind of overhauling. The important things to know here and what I've described before is that we're using this as a um, kind of test bed for our new design system that we're building. Uh, and the design system is going to allow us to build the rest of secondlife.com and all of the various pages that go along with it faster, better, uh, more efficiently, and in, in a coherent way. It might be very obvious to you all, um, but it may not be uh, that all of our various websites and various pages were all built by different people in different ways, and they all behave differently, and they are a nightmare to maintain. Uh, and they are also not terribly coherent visually and experientially and all that other stuff. So one of my main focuses as a product manager over here, you know, looking at, at our web properties is, hey, let's, let's make this all tell the same story and let's make this all look right. Uh, and more importantly, let's make it performant. Um, so like main features here are it should work well on mobile. Um, it should work well on your phone. It should work well on your iPad uh, or your tablet of any variety. It should work well on, you know, screens of different sizes. Um, and right now we don't really have that. So uniformity, performance, efficiency, um, it should just look better. Um, it should feel better. Uh, we've currently got a web presence that looks like it was built in 2003. I'd like to have one that looks like it was built in 2020. Let's, let's aim for at least this decade. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're looking for. Um, so, you know, when, when we roll this out, um, the, the, the main takeaway I'd, I'd like everybody to have, not just, oh, hey, cool, here's a new web page that, you know, looks like it's got some new functionality and, and some new information, um, but more, this is kind of the design direction that we're going to go with some of our other properties. Importantly, things like the marketplace um, that we all use um, or your account management stuff, right? So cool stuff um, going forward. But that's, that's likely not going to roll out soon, soon. It's kind of more like the end of the year and maybe early next year. So that's what we've been working on this month. Um, in terms of next steps, uh, the as soon as we are kind of pencils down on the marketplace search updates, we're immediately going to move into styles. Uh, so this is the long-awaited variants that I've been talking about. Um, we're actually going to finally do it. Uh, so that'll be next up, uh, and then we're just going to reserve a, a lot of the end of the year for you know infrastructural updates and bug fixing. Dark mode might be coming. Might be. Uh, but yeah, that'll be like dark mode in terms of the marketplace. That's next year. That will not be this year. But we can hopefully get styles this year. And if you are new to this meeting, what I mean by styles and or variants is basically like, hey, I've got three shirts, one blue, one green, one red. Uh, and they're all basically the same shirt. Let's just put them in one, one marketplace listing. Um, that's the easiest elevator pitch that I have for it. But it'll include things like demos or, I mean, the ability to, to do that. And of course, it's always optional. Uh, if you do not want to take advantage of it, that's okay. You can list everything separately. Uh, we're not going to force you. But we think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been working for it. Um, pretty much all year off and on. So I'm looking forward to actually clearing this off of our to-do list. And that's it. That's all the news that's fit to print. That's what we're working on, as promised, short and sweet. I don't think we had any homework from last month. I'm trying to remember. We talked about new user experience last month. Um, still interested in in more of those and thank you everyone who reached out to me directly after the conversation uh last month uh really appreciated getting those those ims uh when i logged back in the next day um hopefully i've been able to incorporate those uh, but if you are waiting on a follow-up of any variety please feel free to ping me uh, i do log in every day into second life so i will see them
but if there's no particular follow-up to that, I think we can just open it up to question and answer. How about that? 40 minutes. The bulk of the meeting. Yuki, uh, anything new on APIs? Which APIs? Can you be more specific? We got lots of APIs. All of them. Uh, no, I don't have anything new on all of our APIs. I, I, yeah, I need you to be more specific. Like, which web APIs are you looking for? Um, what are you what are you trying to do? Give me a for example. Uh, fair enough. I then in that case, I, I don't really have an update for anything API related. Sorry. Uh, wizard, reading your question. Oh, great question. Um, Will they have access to search metrics for their items? If I get all of the things that I want, yes. Uh, if we, if you're asking for right now with this particular rollout, no. Um, but that is absolutely a direction that I am moving toward and wanting to move toward. Uh, I would love to be able to put more of the data that we have access to um, in front of uh, our store owners so that they have access to it too. Absolutely. Um, factors involved, honestly, time, resource, priority. Uh, it's, you know, ROI on our end. Um, it's not just, I need, yeah, I need developer time. And our, our plate is full at the moment. Um, but I've been saying in this space before uh, that I'm really hoping that next year can be basically the year of Marketplace. I'd like 2023 to be the year that we really look very hard at Marketplace, maybe rebuild it from the ground up, um, but start doing these types of changes and really focus on that as our major initiative. Uh, so that type of thing would be absolutely right down the line, right down the center. <laughs> Um, if we, yeah, are there plans to improve market, uh, mass? Yes. Um, are those plans concrete and do I have a deadline and, or exactly how it's going to be? No. Um, but yes, it's on my roadmap of things that we need to touch and make better and, and work better. Absolutely. Lucy, me too. I am also curious what we're going to expose in terms of searches. Um, obviously, we can't expose everything, um, but I would like to be able to expose as much as we can and still maintain privacy and security and that kind of stuff. Right? Like nobody needs to know that, you know, when I'm quietly searching for things, what I'm looking for is little pink elephants. I don't, I don't think anybody needs to know that. But certainly we could know if I was the owner of a shop that sold little pink elephants, you might say, oh, you know, you showed up in X amount of searches this week. You know, this is how people found your shop. You may not need to know that it was me specifically doing it. That kind of stuff. Uh, 
Uh, Neri, are there guidelines on keywords and what search engine properly picks up on? Uh, there probably are, but those are almost certainly going to change. Um, it's a good call out. We should make sure that we are um, making those as available as possible. Um, I will review what are what guidelines exist. I don't know right off the top of my head what the guidelines are. But you've got the bug in my ear now. Sam says, how long until web profiles are old yellow friendly? Um, <laughs> boy. Uh, so that's, that's a good question. Um, so there's, there's one part of web profiles that we haven't been able to kill, and that's the feed. Um, people really love the feed, uh, the people that use it. Um, it's, it's still an important part of our web profiles, uh, and we haven't been able to port that over into viewer profiles. So for as long as that is still the case, we probably won't be able to completely old yeller the web profiles. But yeah, I'm trying to cut down on the scope of it as much as possible. It's definitely in my in my gun sight, if you will. Uh, Yuki, the affiliate program is not within my scope. Um, that's more of a uh, marketing thing. However, I, I know a few things about it. Feel free to ask question. Uh, and if I don't know the answer, I'll let you know. But if I do, I'll try and answer it. Uh, Worley asks, are there any plans to expose keywords for a listing without having to use a script to see them? Mm. I don't have plans for that personally, Worley. Um, it's certainly something that I would, I would love to see a feature request on. Um, but no, as of right now, I don't. Lucy, yeah, that's that's what we're talking about is making web profiles go away entirely. We're not there yet. I believe you, Worley. Lots of things have been jeered. Uh, I can go back and, and look through the the feature request backlog. Oh, Yuki, okay, I see. You're hoping uh, to get the affiliates program back. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I'm not sure what the, the timeline on something like that would be. Sorry. Yuki, don't worry. We're not killing the web profiles yet. Um, but yeah, we're, we're trying to port as much of that functionality over to the viewer as we can. Um, for, you know, kind of the legacy profile thing. But yeah, the, the feed won't be going away. Just have to figure out how to work around that. Okay, Lou asks, I don't have information available on the enforcement of maturity levels in the marketplace. That all runs through our governance team. Um, I, I can't speak directly to how what their process is and how they go about enforcing that and you know what the the various triggers are. I'm sorry. I just do the engineering. Uh if read I am also interested in a maps.second life version of Google Street View. Uh, I think that's like a really good idea. Um, I definitely want something like that. Agree. I think there's a lot we can do with maps. Um, I think there's a lot we can do with the destination guide. Um, one of the things that we're we're working on right now is trying to, you know, get better real-time information about who's where. Um, 
you know, so when we look at the destination guide, those numbers that say, uh, you know, like there's 10 people here, uh, I want that to actually be true for the moment that you're looking, or at least as close as possible. Um, so that that type of thing um, is is very clearly uh, in my sights. Um, so you know, more playing around with, you know, what what can maps do for us? What what can that flow look like? Absolutely. Um, and you know, something that is like a Google Street View, that's super cool. It's a great idea. I want to do it too. Um, I also know that Google spent you know hundreds of millions of dollars to make that work. So we'll see. Thanks, Spidey. Yeah, Neri, that's that's exactly right. Um, is you know one of the considerations is you know maintenance, right? It's it's some version of uh, doable to take a snapshot um, of what you know what a, a given place looks like. It's more difficult to then continually update those snapshots across the thousands of regions that are on the grid. Um, that that has to be considered and thought you know we can't just pay people to go do that so we'd have to figure out how to do it programmatically but yeah you're you're on the right track in terms of the reasons why we might not do that uh whirly how often does the traffic update on destinations locations work right now um, I actually don't know the answer to that. It's slower than I want it. It's the best answer I can give for you. Uh, I would like it to be updating as near to real time as possible. And I know for a fact that it is not not real time right now because I've tested it. And then oh, there's ten people here, and then I've gone there, and there's like two. I'm like this thing lied. Uh, wizard, so the best way, I mean, so if you have specific ideas about, you know, what the, the new user experience, you know, is and could be and things along those lines, uh, there's a couple of different ways normally, and I will continue to say like a feature request is the best way to kind of put that in front of all of us. But because this is something that I've specifically been asking this group, feel free to, to IM me if you, um, you know, if you kind of want to talk about, um, you know, that kind of thing, um, you know, new user experience in particular. Um, but I, I'm happy to uh, have that conversation personally. Just be uh, be gentle with me. Uh, I I do log in every day, but I'm not around all the time. Pantera, yeah, uh, something like that might be a kind of halfway mark between what we have now, which is kind of the overall region view and, you know, a more detailed uh, Google Street View that's, you know, constantly updated, something that is more just a like, hey, here are some points of interest and they look like this. Um, I, I think that's, that's exactly right. Like we have the 360 viewer, um, we can take 360 pictures. So uh, I think there's a way to leverage that. Absolutely. Uh, Yuki, new user experiences is on website or in world? Yes, to both, 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 all across the map. Like the the new user experience, uh, think of it in terms of, you know, like I've heard about this Second Life thing. Let me go check it out. Right. So, 
all, all of the ways in which that particular happens. Good call out, Worley. Thank you. Neary, yeah, I agree. Um, we're we're working on that. Um, you know, this this new fascination with the metaverse. Um, we're we're trying to. Like we've got, we have Philip Rosedale out there um, saying, "Hey, by the way, Second Life still exists." So um, we're we're trying to get that message out. I don't know if y'all uh, pay any attention to the Wall Street Journal podcast, but for example, they've they did a, a whole big thing for us uh, or on us, and it was pretty cool last month, I think. He always ages well. I mean, are we at all surprised that he he aged well? I'm not. Don't worry, Whirly, you're in good good company. It's okay to have a crush on somebody. Many lovely songs and poems and movies written about unrequited love. Uh, wizard, I can't answer that. Uh, that's, <laughs> you have to ask Philip. <laughs> I, I am absolutely not going to comment on, on Philip's mental state here. <laughs> I have no idea what he's got in his system. I think he thinks about a lot of things all the time. I think that's part of the Philip magic. I mean, it's a good hat. I worked hard on this hat. I mean, if y'all want to keep talking, I'm not going to stop you. I can't necessarily answer questions about what Philip thinks about VR, but if you want to talk about it, this is your time. It's not mine. I'm not going to make you stop. What do I think about VR? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's very interesting, um, interesting technology. I do think that there's um, a, a very strong argument to be made that 
someday, you know, once the hardware and, and kind of, you know, overall adoption is in place, that it is a place that we might all be spending a lot of time and doing a lot of things. Um, you know, I mean, things like Zoom, for example, with the, the COVID lockdown really taught us as a culture and as a world um, that it's really valuable to um, companies to be able to have let's call them face-to-face-ish, um, you know, meetings across the internet, um, you know, and that they don't necessarily have to happen in person all the time. Uh, so I, I think something like VR, once it's a mature product, um, is kind of the natural progression of that, right? You know, being able to, you know, meet even more kind of face to face, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that, that Second Life does, right? You know, the ability to create a whiteboard that exists, you know, in the v- virtual world space and, and collaborate there, the ability to, you know, go dancing or go out on dates or, you know, see your friends and watch a movie together, even though you happen to be 3000 miles apart, right? Like, these are really powerful concepts. Um, and I think that you know, again, right now, the the real limiter for VR is the hardware availability and, and usability. Um, but that's going to get better. So, you know, as that gets better, I think we're going to see more adoption of it for things along those lines. I also agree with Lucy about AR as the more viable form um, until we get there. I, I agree. That's absolutely right. Uh, I see that Wizard also said that. Sorry. I agree with both of you. Uh, if Reet, has there been any attempt to get Second Life unbanned from being streamed to Twitch? Yes, there has. And I can say that unequivocally. Uh, Lou, that's a good question. Um, so when I say <laughs> old yellowing of web profiles, what I mean is my.secondlife.com, not world.secondlife.com. But again, and I can't stress this hard enough, we're not there. Um, my.secondlife.com is not going anywhere. It is, it is something that I am interested in pursuing whether we can 
consolidate the useful functions of my into um, the new viewer base profiles, but I have no particular plans to make it go away as of right now. Right, yeah, so profile picks, data feeds, all of that stuff, um, you know, there there would, no matter what we do, all of it, we would have to first figure out how to maintain all that, and that's the reason why it's all still there. Um, we are not interested in just making all that just go away. Happy to do it. You're welcome. Come on, all the cats are away. I don't even have Spidey watching my back today. This is your chance. Unfiltered read. I have the ability to get spicy. Spill a secret. Mm, you have to spell my name right first. Hemp. Lost your privileges. Ooh, near you with the save. Uh, let's see, a secret. Let's see. Uh, what secret can I spell? Good question. I don't know. Um, let me get back to you on that. I, there's a couple that are kind of floating around in my head. Let me, let me see if I can figure out how to say them in a compelling way that doesn't get me in too much trouble. Ooh, okay. Well, um, I really liked, uh, Oz's, so Oz, before he left, uh, had a policy of, if you want my bear, you have to show me I've never something I've never seen in SL before. I think that's a good one. So, show me something I've never seen before, and I'll give you my bear. Oh, well, so there you go. Maybe it's hard. <laughs> Lucy, if I knew when, I would spill it. I don't know when. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, but no, I, I don't know when. It turns out, so with our recent uh, Terms of Service update, uh, we, we found some, uh, some poor interactions with the MFA um, implementation. So it, we've got to work out all the bugs first. <laughs> doesn't work as well as we'd want it to. It's maybe a secret I can spill. We broke the MFA stuff with our terms of service update. And we fixed it. But... Ooh, I know the answer to this one, Lucy. Never. It's not too hard. Actually, um, it, it actually uh, is 
hard-ish, but more importantly, it didn't make us very much money. Um, the return on investment was really low. It was one of the first things I killed as a product manager. It was actually a very easy kill. does kind of look like a haunted Dorito. Wizard, uh, I know the answer to that question too. Yes, we have contemplated that. In fact, um, there used to be a referral program um, that, that did a thing. Uh, I know that because I keep tripping over it in the code all the time. Uh, we have this referral program that, that runs in our nightly biller, and I don't know exactly how it used to work because it was shut down before I was brought on board, um, which tells you something because I was brought on board 11 years ago. So um, We've certainly contemplated it. I don't know exactly why it went away. I, um, I think it's an interesting idea to kind of go back and, and look at, but... I don't know why off the top of my head um, why it went away at the moment. Yeah, let's see, that's right. Um, certainly one of the, the complications could be how do you monitor it and make sure that it's not being abused. We run into that all, all over the place. But, you know, those are vaguely solvable problems, right? Um, To an extent, that's that's kind of what the affiliate program that Yuki was talking about earlier. Same kind of idea. So we are definitely in the market of solving those types of problems. Yeah, I think referring someone for premium is a uh, is an easier like an easier thing to potentially reward because um, we can we can kind of track that and we have money at that point, right? So, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't know what that would look like off the top of my head, but it's certainly something we could think about. Yeah, Whirly, I mean, even if it was an alt, that's fine, right? Because um, it would be, you still have to pay for the alt. So might as well get a kickback. The so-called search update API. Oh man, it feels like a loaded term. Uh, are there any plans for an update to the so-called search API? I 
don't know, Lou. Um, I don't think so. All right, let me look at that. Oh, I see. Uh, no, I have no plans to update this. If you have a specific update that you had in mind, uh, feel free to submit a future request. But no, not on my current roadmap. Yeah. I think you've you've hit all three of the points that I would have made. <laughs> Unofficial never worked. Hasn't been touched a decade in a decade. Yep. Correct. Agree. Uh, they are, and no, I can't. Um, and, and I'll tell you why. It's because I don't know the answer to that question off the top of my head. Um, so it is not because I'm trying to be cagey. It's literally because I'm ignorant uh, on the topic. I need to go review the um, stuff. Exactly. I do need to do some homework on that. Uh, I, will, I will admit a thing to you, and maybe this is my secret, um, I have enough going on that it is very difficult for me to look past the things that are currently in flight. Uh, I am the product manager of several teams, not just the web team. So uh, my, my focus is uh, at the moment very much on things like Plus and Casino and the search updates and that kind of thing. Plus, let's see, the basic plus. Well, that was the second thing I said. I did say that. Ooh, not telling. Neener, neener. Nah, I already set my secret. Yuki, yes. This meeting is a once a month thing. Uh, it is always the first Wednesday of the month. So you'll see me again in December. And I can even tell you exactly which day. It would be December 7th, it looks like. day that will live in infamy. Wizard, yeah, hey, so that, uh, I'm going back up and I'm looking at your question. So with the marketplace, is there a way to filter a specific store out of search results? Uh, yeah, that's something that we're looking at for kind of the, the revamp next year. Not currently in the works, but um, that is absolutely on my list. More filters, more sorts. Yeah, and a negative filter like that, absolutely. Um, once we are delivering the search results, it's it's actually fairly straightforward to provide more sorting and, and filtering. So um, I, I think that this is the type of type of kind of let's call it low hanging fruit that we should totally be looking at. Uh, 
Uh, maybe in the UK, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, we'll, we'll have to look at how that comes in. But yeah, I want to be able to take a list of search results and filter and sort them in meaningful and uh, intuitive ways. If it makes sense uh, for us to go all the way down to single items, sure. Um, I mean, for what it's worth, the not operator still works, um, always has and will continue. So you could search for red shirt, not read, and then hopefully not get my store. I have a theoretical hypothetical store. It does not actually exist. Mm -hmm. Your range options and search. Yep, Lucy, I saw that request. I believe we accepted it. It's in my list of things to look at for um, next version of Marketplace. Um, maybe we can get rid of star requests, uh, or star ratings, maybe. I'm not going to make any promises there. I have to look at the usage and ROI and all that other stuff. But yeah, make, feel free to make your case. Um, like I say, submit the, the feature request. Tell me why I should get rid of them. Persuade me. Uh, Whirly, does the marketplace automatically purge stores when the creator hasn't logged in for X years now? No, I do not believe that it does. I think the, the key word there is automatically. I do not believe that it automatically does that, no. Yes, uh, that is correct, Whirly. Uh, we did have a cleanup a while ago that got rid of a bunch of super old stuff where the creator wasn't active. Um, but again, I, I want to highlight the word automatically. That is the thing that is not happening. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Uh, Neri, I, I think that's an interesting idea. Uh, you know, again, we're, we're pretty leery of community-driven cleanup stuff, mostly because it's just really hard to moderate, um, and our governance staff is, you know, pushed to their, their utmost as things are. Um, it really kind of has to be... We, in, in order for us to consider it as a kind of big feature that we consider, we have to really figure out how to automate the moderation of it or reduce risk enough. Um, so I'm not saying no, I'm just saying that we're always really leery of suggestions like that. I don't know exactly how OkCupid does it, <laughs> which is literally, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I can look into, I haven't used OkCupid before, but I can look into uh, what they're doing. I know I get it. You just want me on okay Cupid. That's fair. Keep your eye out for a penguin. Single penguin ready to party. Whirly, yes, being able to sort by listing date would, in fact, be a big win. I agree. Uh, on my list. 
Uh, Yuki, so great question. If you have questions or suggestions before the next meeting date, um, the best place to do that is in JIRA. Say it with love, say it with JIRA. That's the mantra. Um, so feature requests should go right there. We triage them every week. Uh, I am in that triage meeting. I see them all. Uh, so I promise you, your feature request will be seen by me. We are at time. Thank you, Lucy. See, Lucy's done with me already. All right. Thanks, everybody. Happy November. I will see you all in December. No homework for this month. Uh, enjoy your holidays as they come up. And we'll talk to you again soon.